Hello, this is Joey Kirby. I'm in Enemy 351, and this is my Lab 3 makeup. So I'll go ahead and show you the pre-lab right now. It asked us to find the voltages VA and VB. Um, and you can do this two ways. I did show the Kirchhoff way using the uh, current in and current out, uh, but it is more simply done as a voltage divider where VA would equal VM times the resistance here over the total resistance in the wire and this gives you 3.33 volts no matter which way you do it. You can also solve for VB, which is in this location, and it would simply be the resistance here over the total resistance in series, which is three, and you would get 1.67 volts. For the second part, it asked us what was wrong with the code. So in split tokens, there was a backslash T checking for tabs where they find white space which acts as the delimiter and splits the array at each of these locations. However, trim already got rid of this white space in the array, so the split tokens command won't actually activate. And lastly, for number three, it asked us what the radius of the circle was. So in the ellipse command, we have the x and y coordinates, and then we have the width and height. And for an ellipse to be a circle, we need the width and height to be the same. And that would be the diameter, if we think about it geometrically. So. In our case of 10, we would need a diameter over 2 for the radius, so 10 over 2 would equal 5 for the radius. Now, we can check out the first part of the lab, which was the etch, the sketch, the etch sketch. So, I already have this uploaded to my Arduino here, and we can see that if I, as I shift these potentiometers, it will change the left and the right well. So I'll close this and go ahead and run the processing sketch. We see that we have this circle here and the right one is giving me my up and down positions and we see it turning more yellow in the right hand corner. So if I rotated this all the way over, you can notice that I'm doing this as I go. Try and get them both in frame for you. Um, see dark blue all the way at the bottom and yeah so you can kind of can play with both kind of I'm trying to use one hand to do it and if I hit the right side so if I hit the right hand side it will reset me and I'll be back to square one now for the other sketch we also have the gamepad and so I've gone ahead and set up four signal inputs. I named them 01, 02, 03, 04. And I'm going to read a string of these inputs and I can change them. And every time I change them, it will change the location of the circle or it will be moving as such. Oh, I have to run this code, so sorry about that. So now that I'm running the game code, I can project this to my processing. And now we see it's just gonna hit that. And we get a, yay. Now let's see what happens when it goes away. We can edit this using one of these. Just wanted to change the height or to bring it back down and if I keep editing these, this one's a little stuck right there. This one switches our direction, so let's edit the one to make it go back down again. And we get it to go down, and we get to see another happy. So it shows that all both of these work, and thank you very much.